This video will walk through how to find the appropriate number of samples to take to ask farmers their opinions on the nitrogen fertilizer rule. And so uh, we're going to remember that we're going to assume that the probability of the proportion is equal to 0.5. And this is a blanket way that will prescribe the proportion so that the margin of error is widest. And so we might not really know anything about the proportion. So let's just assume it's 0.5. The number of samples to collect n is going to equal z star, and that's related to the confidence interval that we'll talk about, uh, divided by m, or our margin of error, squared, and then multiplied by p times 1 minus p. And so remember then, z star we can find from the z table. And because we're interested in a 96% confidence interval, remember, we need to take a confidence interval on both sides of the distribution. So we're going to look up on the Z table actually where the 98% is. And so if you look up on the Z table where 0 0.98 is, it falls between a few values, uh, but it's approximately equal to 2.054. And so that's from the Z table. And our margin of error then is uh, 0 0.03 because we want to be within plus or minus three percentage points in our response. So we have the values from this question. Now we can enter them uh, into the formula. And so n then is going to equal 2.054 divided by 0 0.03. And then we'll square that. Our probability, uh, P is gonna be 0 0.5 and its complement or one minus 0 0.5. And then so we can calculate this out and we should get 1,171.92 farmers. And so this means that uh, uh, we could write this as to say we should sample and let's round up this 1,171 0.92 to 1,172. Uh, so we should sample those many farmers uh, to ensure the margin of error, we'll denote that MOE, is no more than 3% at a 96% confidence. And so there we have it. If we sample 1,172 farmers about their opinions on this nitrogen fertilizer rule, we can ensure the margin of error isn't any more than 3% at 96% confidence.